What's up again? I'm back, and I'm doing a sick review in the exact same day. Yes, I am still have that cold, and it's only been a few minutes since I've done the Scrapper review. But today, I'm going to take a look at... Well, I did also Scrapper today, but I'm taking a look at Mixmaster today. And yes, I am looking at the correct view, and there's been a lot of controversial parts about this about this figure with, with the Combining Wars Mixmaster, due to the fact that... You know, G1, his truck, his front end of the truck was right here, and everything's been reversed. Well, from where I'm from, in Wisconsin, there we, the, in Oshkosh, they make the, which, that's the name of the company, makes these types of trucks, and this is what, well, Mixmaster is based off, a front, a front-loading cement truck. In Oshkosh, it's a front-loading cement truck. And I see these on the road every single day, so I have, I honestly got no have, uh, don't have any problem with this. Otherwise, he is beautiful. Beautiful truck. I like how all the the gas tank and the stacks are all picked down in silver. Even though I wish this part right here could rotate. But still, it's beautiful. A beautiful, glossy, like, purple. And just like Scrapper and all the other Combiner Wars figures I have, I painted the taillights with acrylic paint. The only carriage is nice and clean. You can see where the thighs and the chest is. And the hands. But still, very, very nice. Later on, I might uh, pick up the headlights like in a yellow or orange in the near future. Still, very lovely truck mode. He does well. And he is very beautiful. That's my dad. He just, uh, he just, my dad just bagged a, temp, uh, a doe today. It's hunting season, so what do you expect? There's a lot of commotion going around. And, uh, anyway, here is... No, no, excuse me. <laughs> what the heck am I doing? Okay, transformation. For transformation, first you're going to want to uh, take the take the wheels right here, and this will separate that that path has right into the forearm, and you're going to bring that out and <clears throat> swivel that out. And this on mine, it's really stiff. Then you have to take the elbows. Bring those down, uh, bring those out, just to give a natural pose. Then you're gonna untab the, this piece right here on the barrel, and untab it from the cab, and bring this down. And then you can take it at the knee right here, and rotate that. Then you can split the legs, and take the, the feet, and tilt them out. Because that would be the ankle tilt. The ankle tilts like that. And lastly, you can get this into shot. Um, take take the rear end, the engine compartment, bring that up. Then you can swivel the head out, out and around, and then you can bring that back down. And that's it. That's it for Combiner Wars Mix Master. And he is very G1 esque, just like Scrapper and all the other Constructor Con, Combiner Wars Constructor Cons, and they're all G1 esque. And I just dig that. I dig the G1, G1 look. Because, well, it's my favorite show, and I grew up with it, even though I am only of 19 years of age. But hey, it's still I still love Transformers, and I loved it my whole life. And as now back to the back to Mixmaster, and he's just a lovely bot mode. Even though I wish uh, they kept the more G1 look instead of having this look like a big fat tail. I take it that the Packers probably just got a touchdown, <laughs> and uh, too bad they couldn't figure out how to make this rotate up like in G1. But that's just my that's a lot of people's personal preferences on Mixmaster here. He has a very nice Decepticon logo, beautiful detail and paint applications all over. Overall, beautiful figure. And now for articulation, his head is all bulandrate, but it is hindered with this, um, the little nozzles and big head, big head piece that's on him. And the, just to tell you, he looks like he's leaning back because, well, this thing has a lot of weight. So I had to kind of tilt him forward and make his legs spread out. Then for the arms... They can go for 360 degrees, can go about that far, but they're hindered by this 
by this mud flap. There is a this there's a swivel right here, and a, about a nine, nine degree elbow joint elbow joint and no uh, hand articulation. That's all static. And for the legs, we can go out that far, that far back, that far out. There is a thigh swivel, which kind of yeah right there. Right there's the thigh swivel. And there's do the train and there's a ninety degree uh, knee bend, well just under slightly. And uh, as for ankles, a full ninety degree ankle tilt, which he can make a pretty good splits. Actually, you can pretty much do the full on splits if it weren't for the for the cement barrel. Overall, he is a beautiful, beautiful figure. And uh, that pretty sums up uh, my little review on Combiner Wars, Combiner Wars Mixmaster. See you later.